hello friends this is Samuel once again from sony tech okay so in this one i'm going to be showing you some cool and useful extensions you should use as a react or react native developer but before we jump into the video i'd like to see if you're new to my channel and you're interested in stuff related to web development pc tricks programming tech trends mobile app development this is the right place for you for some time now my youtube analytics has made me know that less than 20 percent of my audience have subscribed to my channel which is really bad but this is not going to stop me from making content for you guys because someone might find it helpful okay so subscribe to the channel please like this video please share and please comment so i know your thoughts so i can improve upon my new videos okay so let's jump right in okay so for our very first extension you have ESO plus react or readers or react native snippets okay so when you scroll or when you visit the extensions marketplace you can search for this then when you scroll down you can find this link which is snippet this should take you to a browser or your default browser and you can find the snippets here okay so let me show you how this works uh, so you can see we have imp and it does this we have for, for react and i think we have for react native as well okay so let me close this and uh, let's try something for react this is for react native so when you do let's see rnfs it, it generates this for you which is really cool okay so let's try one more thing so we have i think r n f e yes okay so this one it generates it for you with an export uh export default thing see this is super cool this is going to save you lots of time okay so let me show you for react as well so for react when you download same extension you can also do something like r e uh, f c e and boom it, it generates this for you as well can also do let's see r a e, f let's try this and this one gives you the export at the beginning which is super super cool and it's going to save you lots of time so let me see the extensions market release you can get it from here yes search for it okay so that's cool okay so let's head over to extensions number two okay so for extension number two we have prettier code formatter and by default, VS Code has a code formatter, but Prettia is the most preferable. And I've used Prettia for some time now, and it's super, super cool and easy to use. Okay, so when you head over to the extension markets, please, once again, just search for Prettia and you install Prettia. Okay, so let's see Prettia Life in action. I want to do something, an R E F C E, and uh, in here, let me wrap this in a fragment. Let me, let me grab this guy grab and paste in here cool okay so let's do a section a section instead of a section i want some lorem let's see lorem 10 and uh, let's do a day with a class of class and let's put in some dummy text so when i hit and hold or press and hold shift alt and f boom you see pretty automatically for format stay for me so by default your vs code is not going to be set to auto receiver when you press control s it's going to format but since i have my own auto see when i press the shortcut which is shift alt and f you can find your shortcut here so you go to settings and you go to keyboard shortcuts and uh, you can find it here let's go to i think it should be here formats documents you can check from here to show your shortcuts okay so let's head over to extensions number three okay so for extension number three we have color highlights okay so i found this color highlights extension some months ago and i fell in love with it i use it all the time so what this does is when you uh, set your color code it, it automatically prints out the color around the uh, rgb or hls color or the hashtag the hexadecimal color so let me show you an example of how color highlight works okay so i have some colors here so you see if if i should change this let me let me do this and uh, call it black so black and uh, what's happening to my typing skills here so black and passes uh, let me do hashtag ah so you see how it works so this is how color highlights work i recommend you go for everyone tries or uses this thing which is really really helpful okay so let's head over to extensions number four okay so for extension number four we have gripper so gripper is essentially a chrome extension i think they have an extension in vs code but i'm not sure i've installed it okay so you can see so gripper this is the query and answer system for the amb ambitious developer okay so let me show you how gripper works so let's see oh 
so let's say i set something in my browser so let's see maybe javascript uh switch i think yes switch will do what's happening to my typing skills and i and i search so essentially what paper is going to do is they're going to give me sample codes at the top of my search so you see what we have here so let's try one more thing so javascript function and this should work okay so you see it works boom and it works for anything code if it isn't code it's not going to show up so let's try maybe expo in it and uh okay so see it gives us something maybe let's see something like maybe react uh native oh, what's happening to my type code navigation yes navigation is here okay so you see how gripper works so gripper is really really cool it's going to save you lots and lots of time so go install this extension head over to the chrome web store and search for gripper and you thank me later okay so let's head over to uh all right fit extension so for our fit extension we have the almighty github copilot i discovered this extension some months ago when i immediately joined the waitlist and I started using GitHub Copilot, I fell in love with it until some months ago. I was told, I was alerted that it's going to be paid. So I would advise before we continue with GitHub Copilot that if you are a fan of premium products, you should go and purchase GitHub Copilot. I think it's just 10, 10, is it $10 a month? Okay, so let me show you how GitHub Copilot works. So let's say I, I do a function and uh, let's say add num and yeah, add num. No, I don't want this. So let's see add now. And boom, it gives me something like this. You see how data copilot works. It auto completes my request. Let me do const. Anything at all, any language at all. Let's do const and uh, let's say some because there's an uh, arrow function. And hey, buddy, yeah, boom. And I hit start. It works. Okay, so until they are $10 a month in. So, uh, for some time, for some time, it didn't work anymore. So let's let's give some moment of silence to get that copilot because I'm not going to be using it again. Okay, so after that, I discovered this extension too, which is called Tab Nine. So you can see Tab Nine here. Look at Tab Nine, Tab Nine, Tab Nine, Tab Nine, Tab Nine, Tab Nine should be somewhere here. Forgot my alphabet. Okay, so Tab Nine too is also cool. So you could see when I was typing the functions out. I'll get this some things oh let me just do an import so you see how tab 9 works you see when i do import so this is from tab 9 it gives me some uh it's a quick fix i don't know so it gives me some alternatives to choose from yes so you see i'm typing the, the function to so function and um you see how github copilot works hey so you see how tab 9 works boom and it gives me what i'm supposed to use before I fell in love with Tab 92 and before I fell in love with GitHub Copilot, I was using Kite Auto Complete. Uh, then I realized that GitHub Copilot is actually good and I stopped and I used it. And for some time now, I stopped using it because it was making me a bad developer and a lazy developer. Okay, so before uh, I say thanks for subscribing and <laughs> thanks for watching this video, I want to show you some other cool extensions like Better Comments. We have a uh, Code Runner, it's also cool. And I think yes, links is also cool, really, really cool. And GitHub pull request, this one is so cool. And uh, if you have an NPM intelligence, yes, and project manager, it's also so cool. If you're a fan of uh, React Native UI library, uh, React Native elements, use this extension. I'm a fan of Native Base, so I have a Native Base uh, extension. I think yes. Okay, so guys, essentially we've come to the end of this one and i would like to say thanks so much for watching this video don't forget to give this video a like comment share and subscribe bye